So the Google Keyword Tool is something that's really useful if you're researching keywords, obviously, for your website. A lot of people think that uh, just throwing in some keywords like, say, you're a fitness coach, and so you want to just use keywords like weight loss, uh, fitness, get fit, belly fat, um, you're like, okay, that'd be great. Not necessarily at all, actually, because those are very generic words, so there's going to be really high competition for those kind of words. So you really need to know how to find a long tail keyword, which is called a, it's more or less like a phrase. Like what's a search phrase someone would be typing into Google um, that might be less competition and more opportunity for you to be able to rank for that phrase, rank highly, like the second or third or first result for that keyword. Because if you're trying to rank for something like belly fat, the competition is amazing. And you're probably not going to ever hit that or at least not any time in the near future unless you have lots of money that you can throw towards like paid advertising. So the way to figure out what keys and or what keywords to, um, to use is to use the Google Keywords tool. Now you just go and type into Google, Google Keyword tool and the first result you'll find is this um, tool here. Now you have to have a Google account or a Gmail account to log in. Um, it doesn't access it in any way, it just you need it to log in to use their tool. Once you've logged in, you'll see a, sh uh, a screen like this. Now you want to type in a word or phrase that you're thinking of, like, um, uh, I'll just type in belly fat, so we're just talking about weight loss, so belly fat. And once you type that in, let me unscramble this thing, uh, I can never figure these things out. Okay, great. So once you type it in, here now we've found a whole bunch of variations of that keyword. So belly fat exercises, lose belly fat, how to lose belly fat, belly fat foods, reducing belly fat, and see these are all phrases. These are long tail keywords that you could use in your site. Now what you want to look for is the competition and the number of searches. So belly fat diet has medium level competition and over 60,000 monthly searches. There's over 40,000 here locally where I'm searching from. If you click the drop down, you can actually see the Google search page to see what those results are. This is who I will be up against. A WebMD article, um, couple, actually all top three are WebMD articles. It looks like a 12 Foods, the Burn Belly Fat article, um, a diet article. So it looks like a bunch of kind of belly fat articles and such that are uh, the most competition for that keyword. So that means that I, if I have a weight website that I just totally market around um, a belly fat diet and have videos and articles and press releases and social bookmarks and all the SEO stuff around using that keyword belly fat diet, then I might start to rank number one, my website, for the word belly fat diet, which could be awesome. So anyway, you want to use this keyword tool to figure out what are the other phrases around your main keyword that you could use where there's medium or low competition, there's a lot of searches a month, not too many. Now, if you have like 500,000 searches, there's just you might get just lost. If there's like so many results, you're going to get lost. Um, so you really need to kind of feel it out, like if there's low competition, 49,000 searches, belly fat men is that search, right? So you might start to rank for belly fat men. So maybe you want to pick like four, five, six keywords, main keywords to use all the time in all of your marketing to start out with for at least, you know, several months when you're building your campaign for your website, you want to keep with the same consistent four or five keywords that you're trying to optimize for. So you would use each one of these phrases and you just use them over and over and over again in your marketing with your videos, your articles, your social bookmarks, press releases, all that. Anyway, but I just want to show you a little bit about the keywords tool and how to use it. And when you get your results, just click the drop down and click the Google search to see what you're up against and to recognize the number of results there are. There's 15 million results for that. And then to see who your competition is, how competitive they might be, and if you might have the opportunity to rank with a video or your own website for that keyword. Hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please just shoot me a note. I would be happy to answer it. Okay, thank you.